Hi everyone, it's really good to see you again. So I know it's been a few weeks since that you've seen me and that I've done a video here with you. And I can tell you that it's been very nice to have a break from filming and from editing. Sometimes it can be quite stressful trying to rush to think of a video, film it and then edit it. But I've really missed creating every week and filming for YouTube and then sharing the experience of sharing a video and then receiving all of the feedback from comments on the videos and on um, uh, Instagram as well. So I have really have missed the whole process of creating, sharing and just feeling connected to this community which means so much. So it is really wonderful to be back even though like I said I'm feeling a lot more restored, uh, relaxed and inspired. I've spent the last few weeks having the best time of my life. I've been traveling as I told you I went on holiday to Italy and right now I'm in Mallorca celebrating my sister's wedding which was yesterday which was absolutely incredible the whole family being here there's 50 of us here it's been the most incredible weather the most gorgeous place on earth so I'm feeling restored relaxed rejuvenated ready to start again and having that break was wonderful but I'm really really glad to be back and I've really missed everyone, so I hope that you are glad to see me too, because I'm very, very happy to be back. So even though I'm on holiday now in Mallorca, back in June I was invited by Universal Pictures to attend an event for Downton Abbey A New Era, which is the latest film in the Downton Abbey franchise. And we were invited to London to spend four days celebrating the release of the movie on home cinema so for digital download and for dvd and blu-ray so we got to attend a number of different events there to celebrate the film and to promote that as being released i did that back in june at the time i was so excited it's the first time that i've been, been invited on a pr trip where i get to join the cast of a universal pictures big film and also spend time with other people like me who make content so i was very excited quite nervous but it was amazing an amazing week and uh, at the time i remember thinking i was just desperate to share everything so now it's been a few months since that happened and i'm finally able to share that with you now so i thought that for my return i would share the process everything that we did during that week so that you could see what we got up to. So I hope that you will enjoy this episode. It's only a short one for my return, but I am back now again, permanently, and I'm ready to share more content with you. I've got some amazing things coming up. So I'm very happy to be back and I'm excited to be here with you again. So I hope that you enjoy this episode. Our base for the entirety of the trip was Down Hall in Essex. Set in lush countryside, this was such a relaxing place to stay and enjoy the company of everyone else in attendance. We were so well looked after by Universal Pictures who made sure that we were treated like lords and ladies. So I'm here on the set of Downton Abbey A New Era and if you watch the film you'll recognise this house as the location where Tom and Lucy get married. So I'm here to enjoy a full day of activities to celebrate the film coming out for home release. So join me and let's have a day of Downton together. The first activity on the agenda was to attend an etiquette class with Philip Skies, founder and principal of the British School of Etiquette. My name is Philip as Grace said and I have the privilege of engaging with you today. You would come in to sit, you would leverage yourself down nicely, pull your chair in, and I would always suggest a fist and a half away from the table. We're not lying on someone's yacht cruising through the Mediterranean. It's absolutely not, not allowed at all, especially in these forms. And for any of you who like motor, motor vehicles, BMW, bread, meal, water, or bread, meal, wine. Mora has a scone, and it's not a scone, it's a scone. Philip reinforced the point that etiquette is to make others feel comfortable. It's not about imposing rules, but more about making life run more smoothly. After this, we headed just across the road for a very special experience in St. Mary's Church. Action. 
So I'm here on the set of Downton Abbey, A New Era, where the golden age of Hollywood comes to life. Action! So we're here in St. Mary's Church, where Tom and Lucy got married, and we're going to be looking at the costumes designed by Anna Robbins. Anna Robbins is an Emmy-nominated costume designer who took over the reins of the costume department at Downton Abbey in season five, and has designed the costumes for both of the movies in the franchise. As this film is set in the Roaring Twenties, you will notice that there is a looser silhouette and an emphasis on glamour, lots of sparkle and sheen. To see these works of art up close was such a wonderful experience. The craftsmanship and quality of each piece was truly breathtaking. After lunch, we headed back inside the house for a demonstration on how to make a traditional buttonhole arrangement. This part at the end is quite stiff, but don't worry, it will come through right the way through. Pull it down until you can't go any further, and then that becomes your stem. And then we use um, what we call, this is called paraffin, paraffin, yeah, paraffin. And then um, the tape, just to cover up all the mechanics. Um, so don't be afraid, then we're going to take some fur. And this was also very popular in the Victorian times, ferns. Okay. And then take two pieces of fur. Okay. Yeah. How you I think doing? So. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so men wear those on the left, ladies on the right. Okay. And that stems from when um, you would do dancing. Mm. So when you're dancing with your partner, Wouldn't they don't clash. Way. Yeah. So it's day two of our Downton Abbey A New Era experience and today we've come to Rest Park which is one of the filming locations used in the film. Uh, I think it's used for the south of France part of the film when they have a party outside which is one of the most stunning parts of the film if you've seen it. If you haven't you must because it's gorgeous. So today we're going to be just here we're having tours of the garden. There are a lot of media uh, teams here, so they're having interviews with some of the cast and crew, and then people like me who are just here to film, we get to view the garden, create some content, so that's what we're going to do here today. It's pretty relaxed. Yesterday was quite intense with all of the uh, activities that we had to do, a lot of social media content, but this day is pretty much just taking it slow, enjoying the garden, taking some beautiful uh, video and pictures, and then we get to have a very nice lunch in the beautiful building. So it's a pretty nice day. It's warm, but not blazing sun, so it's a bit more uh, relaxed. And it's, it's going to be quite fun here, so let's do it. So we're just in the more formal grounds. Actually, most of this garden is quite formal, to be honest. It was designed by Capability Brown, which is a very famous name in garden design. And he was famous for kind of creating an English country landscape for the owners of these homes. So before there was more formal style of garden, and then he came and created more of a parkland. So it looked like your house was sitting in this beautiful parkland that had always been there but actually it was designed by him very specifically and done very well. Some people actually think that Capability Brown was a little bit destructive because he used to rip out everything that was there to create these huge landscapes and I know a few owners of country houses who've talked about this in the past that all of their beautiful herbaceous borders and things like that were ripped out for this new style so they, fa they found it quite destructive. But it is nice to be in this kind of parkland setting. There's a little folly over there which you can just see in the distance. And yeah, it feels like we're in a huge country landscape, which we are, but it's, uh, it's not natural. It's all created by Capability Brown.
After a long day of exploring the gardens, it was time to head back to our hotel for a 1920s inspired closing party to wrap up the event and celebrate the week. So, I really hope that you enjoyed this short episode. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, joining the cast of Universal Pictures for, for the release of Downton Abbey was something new for me. I'd never really been on a press trip before to join other influencers uh, and people who create content to share this experience. So it was all new for me and uh, what I can tell you is that it was a really incredible experience. Um, I think sometimes doing this job can be quite lonely in terms of it's hard to meet other people who do this job and share your experiences and share uh, tips and other things so this was the first time that I really got to meet with people who do what I do and have a sit down with them and chat one-to-one -one about the work that we do and I can tell you that it was such a great experience because one of the things that was so touching is that everybody was really willing to share their experience and their knowledge and their contacts which I think is such a nice thing everyone I met was super friendly and actually really willing to share their experience most of the people who I met on this trip had been doing this for a long long time and this was one of many of their trip uh, press trips that they'd been on this was something that they do all the time but they were so kind to me they made me feel very welcome and they offered to share their contacts put me in touch with people they know so that I could really um, step up on the ladder and continue to do what I do. So these people were all amazing and I made some great friends, some of them who I'm going to stay in touch with probably for a long time, maybe even do some collaborations with. So yeah, it was a really, really fantastic trip. Something that I'll never forget. Three days of fun, excitement, nerves, uh, anticipation, but mostly a wonderful experience that Will stay with me forever so i just want to thank everybody who made this happen for me to attend this trip it was amazing and something that i'll never forget and hopefully we can do more because i think it is quite fun and interesting for people like you and i who really do enjoy these beautiful things so i hope that you enjoyed this episode for me it's so great to be back again as i said at the beginning of the video i'm feeling relaxed restored had an amazing summer. I'm ready to get back into work, back to my normal home life and just hit the, the ground running and start again with creating some beautiful videos and content for you all to enjoy for my YouTube family. So yeah, it's great to be back and I will see you very, very soon. And thanks for sticking around and being patient while I've been away. It's great to be back. Take care. Bye bye.